Welcome to the first Halloween Shopping with Dave for 2020. As you can see, I'm starting here, very, very backlit, at Universal. I'm gonna show you a couple of things as well. And then, well, I'm gonna put on the screen here where we're going, so you can jump to the timestamp, but hopefully you'll wanna watch the whole video. First thing we're gonna do is go to Voodoo Donut, but I have one thing to show you on the way. This is going to be like 98% Halloween, maybe a couple of other things thrown in there, but let's get to the Voodoo, let's get the voodoo Donut. Go. Must resist cliche opening of Universal Vlog. Also, if I still watch movies, which I, which I don't bother anymore, I would definitely watch a bunch of these, because a lot of these movies I either didn't see in the theater when it, they were released, or it's been a very long time. A lot of these movies are older movies, but there's a movie up there, Tenet, which is actually early instead of uh, re-release. Okay, one really quick stop. Well, it's not even a stop, I'm just I'm walking. One really quick shot here on the other side of the progress of whatever this is going to be. And over here, it looks like they're finally actually uh, working on it. I would love to say this is going to be a two-floor retail environment, whatever it's going to be, but uh, no, they're going to do the thing that they've done, they've done before, where it's a single floor and a ridiculous amount of ceiling. At least that's what it looks like. Don't have any uh, confirmed information, it's going by what I've seen. Alright, Halloween, that's what you're here for, right? Let's get in and check out the two donuts that are new at Voodoo. No way to get in. And there's no, you, I would think that a donut place would be most busy in the morning, but apparently it's not the morning, it's when the parks close or later in the day. They still have the annual pass donut, but we're not here for that, are we? All right, well, I guess I can't show you the donut in here because, so here's what the pumpkin one looks like, but I'm getting, in, getting the jack one, but it's good to see both. There we go, that's way too much donut for one person, but I'm doing it anyway. And here's Jack in the sunlight, so you can, you can see him better. Well, I tried to do a very, I tried to do a clever photo, but the longer I held this up, the more it drooled off the donut. Uh, so, it is a good donut. Um, it does have some sort of jelly in it. It's supposed to be pumpkin, I believe, but I don't taste that at all. Not, I, I do like Voodoo Donut, but not a giant fan of the taste of their frosting, to be honest. But it's a good donut. It's not like overkill with the um, filling at all, which is good. Really brief stop here at the kiosk in City Walk because there's really nothing out here that we can't find in other places, but just kind of cool to look at. Once again, 1999. Could that be Bio Reconstruct? Probably not, but it could be. These lanyards are pretty cool. I really like these glasses, but they're hand wash only. Jack face coverings. Some retro shirts. At least I call them retro. People don't wear these very much anymore, which is for a good reason. And on the other side, some Beetlejuice stuff. Again, nothing we haven't seen before, but still cool to look at. Here's something cool. Creepshow was rumored to be a house. Hmm. There's stranger things here. Okay, I actually didn't realize it has expanded to two separate ones. This, I believe, is the one that's going to uh, have Christmas at some point. Here, here in the Universal Studio Store. I don't know why it's not called the Universal Orlando Store, but it isn't. And more of the same stuff, but just wanted to let you know that's here as well. Little notebook. $28 for this hat. I don't believe I've seen this one before. I'm sure it's been out, I just haven't seen it. Next stop, it's gonna actually be Toothsome. Hello, Islands. Oh, right, right, Toothsome. Did you guys know that I was the very first guest to walk through these doors when this opened for soft opening? It's true. Okay, maybe not step down as I'm still recording. Well, 
This is the emptiest I've ever seen this. But here is some of the Halloween stuff. Check out the pumpkin. More pumpkin stuff here. Right here. Check out the decorations up here. Oh, I love the Halloween decorations. Quote the raven. Ah, I can't wait to start using my A7S III. So it is awful zoom. Sadly, if you're looking for Halloween-themed treats, there's nothing specific to Halloween right now. Although there's lots of candy, so I mean, like, what's more Halloween than candy, right? Let's move on to Universal Studios. One more look at some more decorations. These are pretty cool. On the way up. It's actually Wednesday, but good try. So nobody greeted us at City Walk, at least uh, when I walked in, but. We've got our mics going to both parks. Hey guys, welcome. Of course we have the stuff in the Universal Studio store, but we're going to the tribute store. Ah, here we are. I'm gonna go in and buy some candy and stuff. So today's vlog is Dave gets diabetes. I mean diabetes. Some days the line is all the way back through that extended queue. Not quite today. It is a Wednesday. So now we're inside. Here's something really not fun. This store opened the same day as the A7S III was announced. And by the time I got home, it was too late to pre-order it from Best Buy. And Sony apparently didn't realize how popular the camera was gonna be. So it might be delayed and I don't know when I'm gonna get mine. But Rubber Ducky is still the one. Let's go into the newer rooms, because some stuff has been added. Take another quick look at all this awesomeness here. Again, I'm going to come back with my new, better camera when I finally get it. To show you this stuff in better detail. Hopefully it'll be before they take this door down. Look at that. Look at the old... Look at the old arches from the park. The original ones. I'll never sleep again. <laughs> well, again, I'm going to save this for a future video. Mm. Maybe, but I don't really like sour gummies. They tear up the inside of my mouth. Mm, so many choices. These look very angry. Cookie dough cup. Yes, the return of the waffle and a stick. Now it looks more like an actual waffle. <laughs> Make it look nice this year. Mm, more donuts? Uh, maybe not today. So Kyle from View from the Cheap Seats suggested this, or at least he enjoyed this the most. So we're going to go with that because last time he suggested something I liked it too. All right, well, something I predicted would happen a long time ago, but it's taken a while. The triumphant return of Horror Inc. Which is somewhere. I guess it's back behind here, I'm not sure. But, this one, this one, that one, this one, and the loner. And I think that's it. But I believe they're switching this out to different properties. It's not as many as we've seen before. And I don't know if you can customize, add any text. Oh, you cannot. Custom text not available. Thumbs down. There we go. Otto was not quite reading it correctly because, of course, Otto wanted to make everything bright and it blew out the screen. Wow, check out this room. It's dead. And if you have not seen my live stream before of the opening day for this room, or not opening day, actually, first day I actually could make it into this room, I will link it 
up here. And against blah 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 blah. And again, blah blah blah, A7S3, you look better. But for now, we're stuck with this image quality. So I guess it's not the quite exactly the same thing every time. Well, $30 isn't bad for that poster. It comes with a certificate. It comes with a certificate, meaning it's real. <laughs> so there are very, very few people in the store, but I keep having to stop and wait because everyone's doing what I'm doing. Let's go try this. Did I mention how much I love that we don't have Sing it here anymore. And also, man, Jake has lost some weight. I did not buy this specifically because it's vegan, because I don't practice veganism, but, you know, vegan stuff can still be good, so let's try it. Or, I'm gonna try it. It's pretty good. It's a little thick, but it's definitely moist. Lacks a little bit of flavor, but it's. Not bad. But I'm not a giant brownie fan to begin with, so I'm pretty picky when it comes to that stuff. Imagine that, right? Unfortunately, no Death Eaters this year, and no unofficial scare zone here in Hogsmeade. Which is too bad, because I was looking forward to its return. But I'm sure they're gonna have the Christmas projection, and all the Christmas decorations, and all that stuff coming up. I mean, I guess they have pumpkin juice, but they always have pumpkin juice. Come on, man, light the torches. Now we're in Walmart, and here's the first sign of Halloween. Quick note, these are made in China. If you worry about things like that. Aha, we've arrived. Notice that Walmart tends to be more chocolate than candy. Yes, there's a difference. Sure is. Oh, look at Snoopy, he's all uh, very formal today. I wonder which minion this is. And just generic false stuff. <sighs> okay, sure. Check out these 3D cards for Halloween. I like how they always, I like how they always have to tell us Halloween is October 31st. Like, how, how do you not know that? Right. And here's some decor, 14, 1497 for this. And that's all it does. Doesn't flicker or anything. Here's something that's been around for a long time. The um, Splat Witch. This witch doesn't know which way is which. 497. 36 inches, that's pretty respectable. For Hattie Yard. 98 cents. 6.98 for these pumpkins. That's really good, actually. Seriously. And they come with a light. That's a really good price. Here's Halloween Billy Bob. Is that Axl Rose with a banjo? Here's this nice painting. It's cool, but uh, I don't know. But. <laughs> Is that a hidden Mickey? The first tickets, please. Yeah, you're not fooling me. Those are Christmas lights. You know how I feel about Christmas at Halloween. You're not welcome. There's still a lot of back to school stuff, so this will get expanded to costumes and makeup and things like that. But. Understandably, they're prioritizing the decorations. For $4.84, you can have this pumpkin candle, which is red on the inside, so it bleeds and, as it burns. Ooh, real swoopy. This is true, some live in Hogwarts. Whoa, three days till Halloween. 
Man, that went fast. Sorry, these are stupid. And here's the rest of the stuff. Got more stops to do, so. Good start, though. Here, hold my fogger. Now we are off. All right, next stop is Blows. Sure wish I knew there was a Walmart right next to Blows because I wouldn't have bothered to travel on my way to the Walmart we just went to. But I never shop here, so I didn't know that. And here's an overview of the selection at Blows. I mean Lowe's, sorry. Some nice conservative fall stuff. Looks like an eyeball falling out, but it isn't. This is a button to try a different one, I guess. Well, apparently you gotta know when to hold it. More fall stuff, and of course, let's just skip to Thanksgiving, apparently. Uh, Christmas is gonna be here any minute now. $4.98 for these little pumpkins. Eh, much better value at Walmart. $9.98 for a bag of skulls. I feel like you saw this before. Or, well, I guess I was in the video, but it was in um, Starbucks. Some spooky projectors. Ooh. $24.98 for this one. $19.98 for this one. That sounds like every day in summer here. Once again, you're not fooling me with the Christmas lights. $14.98 for these projectors. That's kind of cool. Color changing too. You can see the uh, shadows change when the color shifts, which is interesting. $9.98 for this very conservative mat or Accent rug, as it, says, as it says here. Caution in English and Spanish. $4.98 for these. These are significantly smaller, but... Happy Halloween or danger. Trick or treat. It's all sparkly. Which is fine. I don't mind. These are all $9.98. I don't know what that was. So last year I went to Home Depot for the first time for the Halloween shopping and I never really thought about home improvement stores for Halloween shopping. But it's a lot of really cool stuff here. That is a giant skull. Let's see what this guy does. This guy does nothing because someone pulled the uh, battery tag. Hmm. Hmm, this could have something to do with it. company that makes these thinks that nobody knows what reverb and echo is. It's just spooky. Universal Monsters. There's another projector. $49.98. Frankenstein's Monster. More Universal Monsters. Frankenstein's Monster again. You open the circuit, it still keeps going. And one more thing. Uh, okay. So, sorry I haven't really done a whole lot of Halloween stuff. I just haven't been able to get into the Halloween, uh, what's the word, Halloween, uh, 
Oh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Halloween... I don't know. There's some word that's supposed to follow Halloween. Somehow I bumped digital zoom. I don't know how I did that. But anyway, so it's Florida, it's summer, and it's raining. Imagine. So here are the hours. They actually did not put up the usual one that says Sunday opening at 12 a.m. I guess someone finally fixed that problem in the template that's been posted, uh, released. I noticed it last year. I don't know how many years they've been doing that, but the spirit which I went to the first day of their operation, which I live streamed, they had the 12 a.m. They had to change it. This was a place called Outer Limits, which was, I think, um, an indoor blacklight mini golf. But I like this. This is awesome. I have animals. You remember this guy from last year? Big fat pig, my hand. This guy's got a little bit of a problem. I'm going to uh, walk in here. There's nothing scary that could pop out at me. Yeah, that doesn't work. That doesn't work at all. What about you? You have something to say? What? Ah! <laughs> I do like this. No, let's see. Walk on the footprints. No, oh, nothing happens. Oh, look at that little spider. Ah! Lots of empty space in here. And of course, copyrighted music. Johnny Punk, $159.99. I've been waiting for you to come out and play. Well, this what place hasn't been so open. Long? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, this place just opened. And I guess that's all it does. Although it really is a trick because every day is Halloween. So she always say zero. I will say, I will say for a spirit that just opened, it's very, very well stocked. That's usually not what happens. Usually they have a few things. The staff is running around putting stuff out. And then you come back later and there's more stuff. Ah, oh, the Roaring Twenties. I thought about going as Waldo a few times, but eh, it seems kind of lazy. Oh look, another political message. I am so I'm so Anyway, I'm so pissed off about these things. They really, really need to stop. It, just, just stop. Anyway, Harley Quinn. More Hocus Pocus stuff. This time, obviously, costumes. This is really nice. $49.99 for everything but the hat. It actually feels pretty nice, too. As usual, Nightmare Before Christmas costumes. Feels like there should be some straw and some makeup with stitching as well, but eh, it's not bad. I mean, I know there's some makeup there, but I don't know. I haven't watched the movie in a long time. Yeah. Can we have election season only last like a month before the election? I'm really tired of it.
We've uh, seen this before, but let's hear it again. Oh, good. The appetizers have arrived. <laughs> We saw this last year as well, but let's look at it again. <laughs> Gonna try that one more time. Yeah, again, it's a really, really cool concept. It's just, I don't know if that fan works well enough or if the air conditioning overrides it or what, but it looks pretty cool. Hey, it looks like me when I get up and have to go to work. Some marshmallow stuff. He's supposed to play this year at Mardi Gras, but of course that got cut short. All right, these are actually kind of cool. Not so crazy about the flashing, but yeah, I know they're still dressed up Christmas lights, but at least they put a shape around it, so it's not straight Christmas lights. Where are you? Are you Groot? Kind of lacking on the Beetlejuice stuff right now. Oh, never mind. There's a little bit more. And that's what it does. Hmm, pumpkin drink suspenser. Interesting. Well, that is all for the really, really loud music spirit Halloween. Now it's time to change the battery and go to Target. So that was a tour of the world's loudest spirit Halloween store. I'm going to have to do a lot of editing because the music was unavoidable. So I was wrong. Outer Bounds was actually an inflatable bounce place. And I guess it didn't do so well. Usually it's down there in the former office depot. Now on to the Home Depot. It's like Lowe's, but better. Aha! We're in luck. Some Home Depots don't have their stuff out yet, but this one obviously does. Some say that giant human beings never existed, but here is some proof in skeletal form. $300. All right, it's a little bit light on the decorations, but you know, I think last year's was better, but hopefully there's more to come. Actually, it was way better. This is, but here we are. More Christmas lights pretending they're Halloween. There's that sign again. We're not going to look at the whole thing. Canvas with sound. And that is, is 1998. I don't know why there are four stickers for one item, but there are. These things are kind of everywhere this year. Except this one, you have to hold the button down. This is a cool candy bowl. Oh, wow, all right. Um, it was a little awkward at the end there, but interesting. Uh, ah. Turn back! There's danger ahead! Danger, eh? Oh yeah, this is really cool. 
If you've ever worked with glue guns, you'll know that if you once you pull them away, it's this long string that feels a lot like a spider silk. This takes that concept and adds air to it. So if you have a compressor and if you're shopping at the Home, De Home Depot, you probably do. Or you, you might, I mean I shop here all the time, I don't have one, but this connects to a compressor, air compressor and it shoots webs. And this is just standard glue guns, but glue gun uh, glue. These jack o are really nice. They're $12.98. There's some that come in sets and some that are bigger. Here's a little more casual Snoopy. Seizure Snoopy? Aha, the three broomsticks. I mean, witches from last year. It's probably been around longer than that, but. Hmm. Sensor here. Well, it doesn't work. Here's a five foot skeleton. don't really want to see our leader. Why don't we go to Canada or United Kingdom? You, you, you probably want to meet those leaders. What's up, Death? You know what, man? I don't fear the Reaper. All right. All right, go ahead, man. All right. $99. All right, well that does it for Home Depot, so goodbye. All right, it's time for Target. Now they don't have the hide and eek available yet. Uh, and they're gonna be putting their Christmas stuff out at the exact same time. But I am actually gonna buy some stuff here today. If you don't know, you can, it doesn't matter what bags you use. If you use reusable bags, you can get five cents off per bag. So use little bags and you get more money off. Don't take plastic bags. Anyway, let's go in. First thing you'll see is as soon as you walk in is the cards, at least in this one. I know they're all kind of configured a little bit differently. And of course the stickers. I like the stickers. It's a Halloween countdown calendar, which is basically an advent calendar, but for Halloween. Of course, in the front of the store are the one to three dollar items, at least the low priced items. These little string lights are cool. Timer. Hmm. So for three dollars, they're battery powered little lanterns, which are, you know, I don't know, but they're still, still kind of cool. Some other cool stuff over here. Little buckets, three dollars. So I guess the three dollars is the price. It used to be a dollar. And some. Shrink art, oh my gosh, shrink art. I haven't seen that in, a, I don't know how many years, since like the 80s, when it was a company called, at least the product was called Shrinky Dinks. Oh, baking cups for cupcakes, those are cool. Napkins. $3 for these cute little buckets. Here's some dollar items, a pencil. When I found mechanical pencils back in early, early in grade school, I thought, I'm never going to use a wooden pencil ever again. Like, why would you? But those are cute. Dollar socks. And again, in case you forgot what day Halloween is, it's October 31st. Like, I don't, like, who forgets what day Halloween is? I can see, like, forgetting what day Hanukkah is because it's different every year, but Halloween, who forgets when Halloween is? Over here, some fall stuff. This is what makes Target feel so much more upscale than Walmart. Yeah, it's more than that. 
Oh look, they're clearing the shelves. Must be for Halloween. No, this is gonna be for Christmas. These shelves are gonna be for Halloween. Once back to school is almost finished, those who are actually going back to school, you see this is clearing out. But we have some stuff to look at today. Halloween. Won't be long before they have the pumpkin spice greenies. Yes, they have pumpkin spice greenies. If you haven't checked out my new pet product review channel and you're actually still watching this video, right there. Ooh, candy. Oh. Love these mixes. Haribo is awesome. If it's made in Germany, there's a few other countries that make it. Sorry, those aren't as good. And yes, I honestly can tell the difference in taste and quality. And these are the same things, but there are more in them. So I'm gonna pick up those. Ooh, they've got a big bag this year. That's all there is to it, Dustin. Check it out, you've got Sour Vampire Bats, which I think are new to this mix. Gold Bears, of course, the original. Ghostly Gummies, or as I call them, Choky Gummies, because they're little and I always choke on them. Happy Cola and Twin Snakes. I don't really like Twin Snakes that much because of the sour. Uh, sour Gummies kind of destroy the inside of my mouth. Not fun. And now they have a special Kinder Joy for Halloween with um, Glow in the Dark Halloween toys. And here's a uh, multi-pack, which looks like you can tear them off and give them out, like uh, sort of like Valentine's. Here's a nice mix. This is $9.99. Ah, they're already out. Pumpkin spice flavor, like your dog cares. And milk bones, uh, not the best. Now, I've been told that Blue Buffalo was a really good brand until it was bought out by General Mills, I think. Uh, leave a comment below if you know anything about that. Uh, my understanding is its quality has dropped significantly. These look good. Ooh, check out the Coffin Skeleton Cake Pan for $7.99. That's cool. Music is not great. It's not, music kind of sucks, but spooky cutters. Boo bags? Huh, mini waffle maker. That's really cool. $9.99 too. Not bad at all. Haha, <laughs> ghoul aid. I used to love this until they started putting fake sugar in it. It just doesn't taste right. This Haribo bag is only a dollar and it is made in Germany. It's some of their most popular gummies, but they're alternate flavors and they're really, really good. Here's a pretty cool mix. Minions. <laughs> Not a big fan of haunted houses that are basically just gingerbread houses. Mm, not my thing. Well, thanks for watching this video all the way through and please exit through the gift shop. And I'm off to the hospital for my uh, newly found diabetes. Or I mean diabetes. Thanks for the 15 people who watched and the one person who watched to the end. There's the end screen. And please, please, please check out my new pet product review channel, Stellarated, because it's uh, not performing well. <laughs>